is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we do have wwe action figure surgery episode number 21 as you guys can see we got a bunch of stuff going on in front of you we got three kevin owens shows right here we got three ko's on today's episode we're going to be switching all three of them together sort of to get his mdt royal rumble attire you know of course again he will be defending that extreme championship if you guys can see it right behind his skull right here it's kind of blocked if you guys want to yeah there it is but you guys know that and I'm going to show you what he will be wearing at MDT Royal Rumble. I think you guys will be excited for that, how it looks. You got the shirtless KO over here. I still, I do not like that body mold, man. Like, I feel like they could have done something with it. It just looks weird. Like, the head proportion to the torso just looks off. I don't know. He definitely needs to put a shirt on. But we'll get to that at the end, so you definitely need to stay tuned to the end to see what he will be wearing at that show. We're also going to be putting together some parts between these two AJ Styles and this Sting body to create a Kenny Omega. I'm going to be making a Kenny Omega Omega. I'm not going to have the head scan or the arms or the torso in this video, but the lower half of Sting over here is going to be converted into a Kenny Omega look, and then I'm going to ask you guys what your opinions are for some certain, certain things and everything like that so that we can figure out how I want the Kenny Omega to be. I want it to be a fantasy attire Kenny Omega, but in a royal blue attire is what my head's thinking where I'm at, so we're going to put all that together. We're going to get some opinions. Y'all guys are going to comment down below what you think, and we're going to put it all together and everything, but let's go ahead and get started. I guess we can start with Kevin Owens and then we'll get into Sting and I again I, I would like to do the torso for Kenny Omega and the head and everything in this video but it's not like I have all of you guys on command right here where I can say do you want this torso this torso or this torso and these arms or whatever so at the end of the video I will be polling you guys on which torso you think I should use and all of that mess going forward we have to do a few things to the Sting to get him in that Kenny Omega look of course this is way too jacked for Kenny Omega even though Kenny Omega looks great and everything this Sting this Sting doesn't represent anybody in my opinion. I just, I, I hate this torso. But we're going to get him fixed up, and we're going to get KO fixed up for the MDT Royal Rumble. So, what we're going to do is start off with KO, and then we'll move on to the rest. So, our first order of business, guys, is going to be switching all three of these KOs. What we're going to be doing is, I think I like the True Effects head scan the most. I mean, doesn't that make the most sense? I think it has the most likeness and everything. What I'll probably do off camera is come in and add up some of the, some of the beard, add some, like, dark brown to match the hair, and sort of get that realistic tone, because I feel like it's a bit light. I want it to make it look more full like this, but not as cartoony. So I'll probably switch the Elite 66 Kevin Owens head scan onto here. We'll take the arms from over here and put them on here and take the big arms and put them over there because, like, these jacked arms are just terrible, guys. I, I hate the way the, they gave him these jacked arms. The, the puffy Luke Harper arms look a lot more accurate to KO. And then uh, the reason that I want these arms over the, you know, Elite 66 is because you'll notice on the forearm right here, they actually have the full L. And on this side, they canceled out the L because of that peg right there. So that just pisses me right off. So we're going to do that. It should be really easy to do. We're going to head swap it, arm swap it, get all the good stuff going, and let's go ahead, ahead and get the white hair dryer and make this stuff happen. All right, guys, let's see how this goes. Uh, the arms off of this KO correctly. Let's uh, let's go ahead and zoom out here so you guys can see all of the madness going on. But it is the arms off of this KO. Let's go ahead and pop that. So we can take the arms off of that KO. Then we want the head scan off of this KO. Oh, God. Oh, that scared me. All right, got the head scan. Now popping the larger arms off of the bigger KO and the Royal Rumble KO. And then the head scan, of course. God, his head scan is kind of scary because it has that little uh, little cup on it or whatever you want to call that. All right, got that. Now I'm popping the True Effects head scan, the Elite 66, onto the Royal Rumble Owens. Just like so. Then we take those puffier arms from the little fodder piece we got. Uh. Got that arm on there. Now the right arm. And boom, got all that stuff. Now we have to go back to the Elite 66 pop this head scan on that literally tore his neck. Look at that right there. Look at that big tear. All right, so we'll just put this back in place. Probably switch that out in the future because that, 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 I mean, it looks good on the figure, but God, it tore his head off. And then the last order of business is to take our little fodder piece here and put on these massive arms and he will be completely done because he'll just be fodder parts in the future for Kevin Owens. So that won't be a big deal there. So there's KO. 
And we'll go back to him at the end of the video, the MDT Royal Rumble KO. And we'll, we'll, we're done with this guy. And here's the Elite 66. We'll take a look at him as well at the end. So our next order of business, guys, is going to be taking the kick pads off of this AJ Styles. Not only the kick pads, but the lower legs off of this Elite 56 AJ Styles. Now we're going to be taking the lower legs off of this guy, putting the, taking the knee pads off, putting them onto, putting the knee pads over here on this guy. So we'll have to pop his kick pads off as well. Slide on those black knee pads. Then we're going to take the lower legs off the sting, put the AJ Styles lower legs and kick pads back onto the sting. And I actually have some blue knee pads I got to add in here as well. And that will be pretty much it. And then we'll take a look at everything and I'll go over the torso options that I have in mind for the Kenny Omega. We'll go over all of the good stuff and we'll take a look at everything at the end. And I'm going to show you what MDT or what Kevin Owens is going to be wearing at MDT Royal rumble and uh, we're going to be getting into all that so we do have to get through these swaps so let's go ahead and hit it All right, guys, I guess we can check now and say, oh, my God, the table's on fire. About freaking, I don't I don't know what's going on. But maybe his kick pad will pop off or not. Maybe this kick pad will pop off or not. So, Jesus Christ, maybe the lower legs will come off. All right, so the lower legs come off. So we'll get the lower legs off. Finally, Christ. And then we got to take the lower legs off of this AJ so we can put them on to Sting. So there, and then we're gonna take this peg just in case we need it. Sliding this knee pad off, because we need it for this AJ. I'll go ahead and put it on the left knee. That way I don't have to, you know, go back and figure out which knee it goes on. And then we'll come back to the other AJ, take off this lower leg. God almighty, man. All right, got that lower leg off. So Elite 56 AJ Styles lower legs are complete. Taking that peg out, again, you wanna keep up with that peg. Take the other knee pad off, put it back onto the Survivor Series, AJ, because we need knee pads on this guy. I hate the way AJ Styles figures looks without knee pads. It looks terrible. So we got that. Now we have to, this AJ's pretty much done. We can Lieutenant Dan him. I got it right this time, Lieutenant Dan. I don't know why I keep wanting to say Captain Dan. But now we can switch off the lower legs of him. Keep up with this peg, because we may need this to put it onto AJ Styles. So we'll put that over there, and then this leg as well. Need to pop up these lower legs. If I freaking can, my god. God almighty. And we got it. Now we just gotta slide the other part out though. Jesus, man. All right, got that. So now these lower legs are complete. We can put these up here. Uh, the peg again, need to keep up with that. We'll st oh my god, I dropped it. We'll put this over here. I think that uses the same peg though. It's kind of crazy. So there is Sting. Uh, he's, he's Lieutenant Dan as well. And we're gonna have to heat up some stuff, but I do have the knee pads right here. Here's the right leg. We're gonna slide this up. I am gonna have to acetone that design off the side because Kenny Omega is not gonna want a Sting logo on the side of his of his pants there. That would look stupid. And then we have the left knee pad. We're gonna slide this onto the left leg. Here's what he looks like with the knee pads on there. And now all we have to do is reheat up all the lower legs. So the Elite 56, we're gonna heat these up. We're gonna heat up the Survivor Series. Then we're gonna have to reattach them. And then we will take a look at everything and I'll show you Kevin Owens and I'll show you the torsos that I have uh, you know to select for him and we'll go from there. Alright guys, that should be good enough. We're going to start off with the lower legs from Elite 56 because those are the most important. You know, the Kenny Omega. We don't need to have the AJ done just now. So maybe these lower legs will go on here. And we got the one peg, and it should get the second peg relatively easy, and it did, and now the other legs. See, we're getting better every single time. Dr. White getting better and better every single week, man. Every time we do an action figure surgery, I get even better at part switch. And look at how easy that was. Now, we have to go over to the AJ Styles and make sure he gets correct. So we'll take a look at Sting, aka Kenny Omega, in a minute, but now we gotta put on these uh, we've done this before, I believe. We put knee pads onto this Survivor Series AJ Elite, the Fan Central, but we're gonna do, or no, the, yeah, the Survivor Series Elite, the Walmart, or whatever the hell it is. We've done that on Action Figure Surgery in the past, but I really didn't even plan on doing that until I figured out that 
you know, we were going to break down that Elite 56 AJ, and I had to put kick, uh, knee pads on it anyway, so I figured why not do it already. So now that we've done all that, guys, let's take a look at everything we've done here today on Action Figure Surgery, and I will show you exactly what Kevin Owens is going to wear at the MDT Royal Rumble. All right, guys, here we are taking a look at everything we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Of course, we have our Kenny Omega work in progress. You guys can see that he is, I think Kenny Omega is supposed to be six foot tall, but once we, you know, remove this torso, we remove the head scan, we remove these arms, I think that he will shorten up a little bit, and if this ends up being too tall, what I can do is take these lower legs and knee pads and go apply them to a Tyler Breeze Elite 63, and I'll do the same thing. It'll be the exact same process. I'll have to crack the torso, remove the head and arms, get those out of the way, and then just switch the lower legs, add the knee pads, and it won't be that big of a deal, and uh, so I'll, that's my plan B if this ends up being too tall, but what I need to know down below is which torso to use. There's four different torsos that we can use for Kenny Omega. That's sort of why I have an issue. I need to know which one you guys like better. We'll start off with option number one. That is the Macho Man torso. You guys see it on the screen. I have used this for multiple Kenny Omegas in the past, and a lot of people think it's the best option. I, for one, like it, but it's not, I don't know. It, it, I like it, and it works, and I've used it before and everything, but it's not, I don't know. It, it's just something that I'm going to leave up to you guys. So number one, we have the Macho Man torso. The next torso choice that we have is the Seth Rollins torso or the Randy Orton torso or the Dolph Ziggler torso. It's the same exact torso, the Finn Balor mold, whatever you want to call it. It's the same torso. It's got, you know, the nice ripped up look. It looks good and everything like that. I've seen people use it for Kenny Omega in the past, so that is another option that we could use. Option number three would be the Mizdow torso or the Zack Ryder torso, which is pretty much just like the Seth Rollins one, but a little bit taller, I think, or it's, you know, the Network Spotlight Triple H torso. I've seen this one used for a ton of Kenny Omegas in the past, and all three of these so far are pretty, you know, accurate to Kenny Omega's body mold. They're, they have, you know, they're a pretty jack mold. They look good on the figure. I've seen many Co Kenny Omega customs with those torsos to work. And then we have the fourth torso option, which is going to be Bobby Roode, which is probably the most realistic one, but um, my trouble with that one is just finding arms that I like for that body mold. Like, I like to use the Billy Gunn arms if we're going to be using a darker skin tone, so I, I like the, the Billy Gunn arms are probably my favorite arms to use for Kenny Omega, but I do understand if we cannot use it and we want to go with something like Bobby Roode or a lighter skin tone like Seth Rollins, I will understand, but please let me know. Again, it's A, Macho Man Torso, Seth Rollins slash Ziggler Torso, C, Mizdow slash Zack Ryder torso, or four, Bobby Roode torso. Everybody just comment down below what you guys think, which option you would like best. Again, we're going to acetone off these designs. We're going to fill this in with white. It's not going to say phenomenal one. It's going to say K Omega the cleaner or something. I don't know. I may just do an Omega logo sideways. I'll probably, fit. it's going to be a fantasy attire, so I'm going to free ball it and just kind of see what I can come up with. But I thought a royal blue Kenny Omega would be pretty dope, especially for the Royal Rumble. So that is something that I'm going to work on there. We, uh, of course, our second figure have our fans, not fan central, you stupid idiot moron. We have the Survivor Series Elite AJ Styles. All we did again was just take the figure and add knee pads to it. It really does complete. It makes it look a lot better and now I have two of these complete so I am happy about that. We have our Elite 66 Kevin Owens fix up. Again, we just switched the MDT Royal Rumble KO with the Elite 66. I like this head scan better but again, I'm going to fill in that beard, make it look a lot nicer and this one really wasn't what we were worried about. We were worried about this Kevin Owens and we're going to find out what he's going to wear the MDT Royal Rumble uh, right now. You guys are probably wondering why he is shirtless, and that is because I custom made a graphic for Kevin Owens for the MDT Royal Rumble, and I am going to showcase it to you guys right now. Kevin Effin Owens in the white t-shirt gonna go on this figure right here and this is the t-shirt that KO will be rocking at the MDT Royal Rumble very excited for it and I'm happy to have this custom shirt made by custom figure shirts on Instagram you guys can go give him a follow very talented very uh, beastly t-shirts they look great and everything on the figure so there he is finally having a shirt on and you guys will see we'll get him a little front view right here Kevin F and Owens I went on my phone you guys know I do edits and stuff like that all the time I took his Kevin F and Steen graphic and then I used different lettering and stuff and different, you know, Photoshop techniques that I've learned over the years and uh, Photoshopped Owens in there instead of Steen and it looks great. I'm very happy with it. Another thing that I want your guys' opinion on is should I add red or white to the kick pads and should I add some outsole paint or some details to the shoes? I think it would really make it pop off if I added either white or red to the kick pads or the kick pads and outsoles or the shoes. I don't know. Just trying to figure that out, but 
that is exactly what KO will look like when he goes to war in that death match. We also have his extreme championship right here, throwing it over the shoulder of the man. He looks so beautiful with it. Can he retain it? We're going to have to find out. I want to know your guys' comments down below on the torso again, and we have our AJ Styles, guys. So again, comment down below what you think of Kevin Owens. Comment down below what torso we should use for Kenny Omega. Leave your thoughts on action figure surgery episode 21, and I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figures. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.